Well, around late November this year, 2025, uh, with a noticeable spike apparently around 28th of November, Porsche owners across Russia suddenly found that their cars wouldn't start or would start and then immediately would just shut down. Local media reported this widely around the 1st of December this month. This affected cars built from 2013 onwards equipped with Porsche's factory vehicle tracking system, PVTS, which relies on satellite connectivity. If the system loses that connection, it assumes that the car is being stolen and it immobilizes the engine. A lovely bit of security until the satellite link fails. Owners shared identical experiences. Car unlocked, ignition on, engine fires and dies. Dashboard lights up with a VTS error. Many drivers manage temporary fixes by disconnecting the battery, removing the VTS unit, or just resetting it. This is not really something that you expect to have to do when you've paid 100,000 plus pounds, whatever, uh, for a luxury German car, right? What we think happened here, what's actually gone on? There are three realistic possibilities. One, a technical fault, the simplest explanation. The PVTS satellite handshake went down, it got corrupted or it was interrupted, and when the connection dies, the immobilizer goes into theft prevention mode. As I've said, the fact that some owners revived their cars by rebooting the module suggests that this is probably what happened. Two, satellite disruption, intentional or accidental. Russian tech forums and some media outlets mentioned electronic interference. The phrase radio electronoborbi, if I pronounce that correctly, that cropped up. It translates to electronic warfare. This could mean jamming, spoofing, or interference with the satellite provider or localized cyber disruption. Russia does have extensive electronic warfare capabilities, so this isn't just wild speculation, but no evidence confirmed that that actually happened. So number three, a deliberate remote disablement. The big question is that could this be considered an act of war? Well, in international law, potentially yes, if deliberate. Under NATO's Tallinn Manual, a cyber operation that causes significant disruption to civilian infrastructure or undermines a nation's ability to function or creates widespread economic impact could be considered a use of force. Imagine a hostile company bricking every connected Porsche, every BMW with connected drive, every Mercedes with e-call, every Tesla with cellular connectivity, every Chinese EV that requires cloud authentication. Suddenly, you're not talking about a software glitch anymore. You're talking about a strategic immobilization of civilian transport infrastructure that crosses the line.